Madison and today is going to be just another simple yet cozy day in my life. Basically my plans today are to simply run to the grocery store, the library, hopefully the local bookstore in town as well as a few other local places as well to pick up a few grocery essentials. But I figured why not bring you guys along sharing the fun of how beautiful just a regular day in your life can actually be. But with that said I need to get going so let's go. These days, it is just far too easy for us to compare our lives to others. Within a mere second, we have millions of lives to compare ourselves to, simply at our fingertips. What's she doing? Yet, you and I don't see the entirety of someone's life contained within a single picture, or a short, or a TikTok, or even longer form content like a YouTube video or even a podcast. Today I bring you a very simple day in my life that I truly find to be incredibly beautiful and so very enjoyable. But many will watch this and think it is simply boring. Many of us will wait for five o'clock to roll around or for the weekend to come or for the few times each year where you get to go on vacation to truly enjoy your life. But what if we found enjoyment every single day, regardless of whether it's a weekday or you're working on a weekend or a holiday, what if you found enjoyment in every little thing that you did as much as possible? I think it would truly change your life as it currently is. All right, guys, I'll tell you what, if you have a small local grocery store around you, go visit it, because every single time I go to our local grocery store that's not a chain, they are the sweetest, kindest human beings, and they get so much joy out of you being there at their store. So. Just a tip, maybe go to your local grocery store. Also, ours is so much cheaper. Like, I kid you not, I got a whole two pounds of raspberries for $2. That is unheard of. But anyways, just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so my dad collects nutcrackers, and this is unlike any one I've ever seen before. So, definitely get this for a mad to his collection. Today it was chock full of regular errands and then a few fun errands mixed in. Had a couple trips to various grocery stores, including obviously a few local grocery stores. Then I had also popped into several of the local antique stores looking for gifts for friends and family. Especially the nutcrackers I showed you guys to add to my father's collection. Before then heading on over to the local library just to go pick up some of the holds that I had as well as to look for any other fun Christmassy books. I truly love getting a good book so much because it embodies whatever season that you're in. So for fall I get fall books for Christmas. I try to get as much seasonal winter best of books as possible and there were just countless. This author in particular, I think it's Debbie Mackamer, has I think hundreds of books, many of which fall into this Christmassy festive category. And if you're not utilizing your local library and you are an avid reader, what are you doing? I know you can't get every book that you would want there, but it will save you so much money and you're already paying for it with your taxes. But regardless, following the library, I did venture on over to the bookstore See, I'm not a hypocrite. I do shop for books too, but I went over to the local bookstore to go find some books as gifts as well as just peruse what they had. They always have interesting books that people have donated, one of which being this local German cookbook. I cannot wait to go through that. It just looks so divine, and I'm actually part German through my heritage. Not that I grew up with much German cooking whatsoever, but regardless. This bookstore is truly one of my happy places. 
visiting it feels like an absolute treat and I truly don't go here very often. I'd say maybe once a month, sometimes more, sometimes less, but for the most part, it's usually when I'm looking for gifts for others because I don't usually tend to buy gifts for myself anyways. <laughs> Okay, I know I've told you guys before how much I love our local bookstore, but seriously, it is my favorite thing. Not to mention, only the handful of times I've been in there, the owner knows who I am by heart and without fail, always comes to chat with me, and it just makes my day. He also just cares so much about what he stocks in his store, and he's willing to get you anything that you could want. So, again, I repeat, if you have any local stores or anything at all that you care about, shop local if you can. Truly, I think it means the world to them, and it makes your day as well. So with that said, I need to head over to the grocery store because by now I think the lions have probably died down soon. Guys, I'm back home now, but I'm home with enough food to feed a small army's worth of people. If I step forward, you can see that's just part of it. We are hosting a friend's Christmas party. It's kind of a breakfast, dinner, Christmas sweater, game night situation. So I will be filming that. No worries, you'll get to see that. But I do buy so much food to prepare for that in addition for all the food that we needed anyways. I apologize my voice is sounding different. I'm starting to think I might be getting sick and or just probably have not had enough fluids today. But anyways, I need to put all this away because this is a ridiculous amount of food. But I'll throw you guys on time lapse and maybe show you guys any of the fun things that we got. groceries and everything are put up I wanted to show you guys everything that I got at both the library and the cute little bookstore so first book is The Christmas Spirit by Debbie McAmer I don't know how you say her name I've just heard lots of good reviews about most of her books especially the ones that are Christmas themed so I picked that up and then this is a classic book that I've heard of about Christmas it's called Redbird Christmas I've never read it myself I don't think it's ever been read to me as a child, but it was also highly recommended and to I'll show you guys the inside cover. It's also super cute for the Christmas time. So, very simple, very cute, nostalgic, I hope. And then these were both on sale, the first one being a dollar. I think I showed you guys at the cook store, or at the bookstore, but I love all things cookbooks. They are my favorite thing to browse through. And so I picked up this cookbook called The New German Cookbook. There were so many recipes in here that sounded absolutely delicious. So I had to pick that up, especially for a dollar. And then this last one, I'm probably planning to gift it to my grandmother. Me and her have had this thing since I was probably 10, where I would get her a cookbook every single year as a gift for Christmas. Most often they are Christmas themed cookbooks, but I think she probably has enough at this point. And all the recipes in here looked really good. So, got this book by Food and Wine, and hopefully she loves it. And if nothing else, at least we're continuing the tradition. Oh, give me one second. I also picked something up at the antique store because I also get my dad a nutcracker each year for Christmas. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, I don't think I showed you guys this earlier, but I picked my dad up his annual nutcracker and it is unlike anything I've ever seen before, especially with his little cape. It is so adorable. I hope he loves it too. He is a little bit weathered, has a little bit of character, but honestly, I think most of my dad's nutcrackers are vintage and from his father anyway, so I hope this will be a nice addition. But that is all the shopping for today, all the groceries have put up. My well, plans now are probably to maybe start working on dinner because I think we don't have enough leftovers to get through today. But if we do have enough leftovers, then I'll probably start doing some chores around the house. I might add some more ornaments to the Christmas tree. Just a few though, because I don't want to decorate too much without Sam. Or maybe I'll work on the faux tree upstairs and just use all the ornaments that don't really have any sentimental value. But all in all, today's just been an amazing day. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love days like this where you're just running a bunch of errands. Hold on. 
tidying up around the house, spending time with your dogs, whatever it may be. It just makes me so, so happy. But that's it for now. I'll keep you guys updated with what I get up to. But thank you all for watching so far. And if you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. It truly would mean so much to me. I am hoping that maybe by the end of the year, I can at least break the 400 subscriber mark. But regardless, thank you so much. Okay guys, I wanted to hop on real quick. So I decided yesterday that I wanted to add more of the fresh pine down the legs of this as well. You too. Excuse me. So I went out and grabbed another one of the tree rings that we cut off. That way I can try my best to incorporate it in there as well. And I'll show you guys the updated version. Because honestly, it's just looking a little sparse. <laughs> 